The European Foundation has a vital and unique function as the organization with responsibility for gathering information on living and working conditions for the policy-making process in the European community, keeping the community apprised of the changing attitudes of workers and management on these issues, and developing new thinking. The foundation was established back in 1976, particularly looking to the medium longer term, and specifically to provide uh, advice and information to the community institutions, that's the European Parliament, the European Commission, and of course the Council of Ministers. All those who have been involved with the development of the Foundation can be justly proud of their fine achievement in establishing its reputation throughout the European community as a respected, professional and influential organisation. Through its research and its development of ideas emerging from that research, the Foundation is making a growing and invaluable contribution to the living and working environment in the European community. Je pense pouvoir dire qu'après 15 années d'activité, la Fondation a acquis une, une compétence dans, dans quatre grands domaines euh, se, se rapprochant des conditions de vie et de travail. Le premier, l'organisation et les relations de travail. Le deuxième, a trait à la santé, la sécurité et l'environnement de travail. Le troisième, la cohésion sociale. Et le quatrième, les aspects sociaux liés à l'environnement. The foundation is run by a, an administrative board. This board consists of a union, an employer, government representative from every member state, and also three representatives from the European Commission. It's that board which really determines the uh, program of the foundation, the work of the foundation, and what it will produce during the coming year. Mais il faut bien euh, se rendre compte que l'ensemble des travaux qui euh, se déroulent à la Fondation sont discutés et débattus euh, de manière euh, ouverte, sans nécessairement déboucher sur, euh, sur des conclusions, mais sont débattus au sein d'instances représentatives de ces différents, de ces différents groupes où, euh, bien sûr, les, les, les partenaires sociaux jouent un, un rôle important et dominant. Le travail de la Fondation se situe, bien sûr, dans un, contexte, dans un contexte européen, dans un contexte européen en plein changement, où l'on peut observer un certain nombre de, de, de tendances lourdes de changement, à savoir le, les changements démographiques, et en premier lieu, le vieillissement de la population de la population européenne. Euh, tout cela se passant dans un progrès technologique qui n'arrête pas de, de, de s'accélérer et donc qui entraîne à la fois pour les conditions de vie et les conditions de, de travail euh, des changements importants, mais aussi dans un contexte politique et institutionnel qui, au niveau euh, européen, est en train de, de se modifier euh, de manière importante. On peut dire que euh, la Fondation se trouve euh, en fait à la croisée de, de trois mondes, ce monde politique, mais également le monde euh, de, de la recherche et le monde de la pratique. I would also like to see a further improvement in the level of cooperation and in that synergy between the Foundation and the Commission with a view especially to the Foundation making a contribution to the formulation and practical implementation of community policies. We are always interested in our workshops, for example, this one here on group work. What's uh, wichtig is for us to bedenken is the Tatsache, that we die Forschung nicht selbst durchführen, sondern per Forschungsvertrag an existierende Forschungseinrichtungen innerhalb der Europäischen Gemeinschaft, das heißt in allen zwölf Mitgliedsländern, vergeben. 
dort wird dann die Feldforschung durchgeführt. Das geht natürlich nur nach Vorarbeit von uns. Wir machen die Programmforschung und in, abgestimmt mit dem Verwaltungsrat arbeiten wir dann auf der Basis eines Jahresprogramms. Die einzelnen Forschungsprojekte, die insgesamt dann das Jahresprogramm darstellen, werden dann per Forschungsvertrag vergeben. Die Resultate müssen in der Tat zuerst einmal, da es sich um wissenschaftliche Berichte handelt, die hier bei uns äh, eingehen, müssen zuerst einmal umgesetzt werden in politikrelevante Beratungsinstrumente. Das äh, kann vielerlei Formen annehmen. Das kann ein persönliches Gespräch sein, etwa mit einem Mitglied des Europäischen Parlaments, wenn das Parlament entsprechende Dinge berät, zu denen wir wissenschaftliche Vorarbeit geleistet haben. Das kann die Mitarbeit in einer Arbeitsgruppe der Kommission sein, die etwa daran arbeitet, eine Richtlinie zu erarbeiten, einen Vorschlag für eine Richtlinie zu erarbeiten. Das kann auch, das sind auch die direkten Kontakte zu den Beamten im Ministerrat, die ja letztendlich dann, beziehungsweise der Ministerrat selbst, muss ja letztendlich dann alle vorgeschlagenen Gesetzesvorhaben akzeptieren und äh, dann auch entsprechend in Gesetze umsetzen. Again, attitude toward work or forms coming up to 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 the home and to the school. And if the, if if the schools can uh, change uh, people's motivation and attitude towards work, then it's the wait of six months, which can uh, cause people to lose heart, lose hope, and have much more problems in. Um, uh, energizing themselves to be involved in anything. Pass over to point number six. Counseling services for all those facing work-life transitions. And there are some funds of the Stiftungen in German where the workers, our workers, pay for it and they can get uh, an orientation phase for three or six mm. weeks and then... Are there any other important issues that are not yet on the long-term unemployed list? at the expense of the, the short-term unemployed? in the belief that um, those who are shorter term unemployed will... Conferences, workshops themselves. form an important part. These may be European-wide ones, or if we've got particular ideas which we want to test out or transfer between one country and another, then we may have uh, national meetings uh, to look in particular depth at one aspect of our work. Foundation's work on unemployment has tended to focus very much on the individuals affected by unemployment, with a particular emphasis on the local context in which they live. This work has also stressed the involvement of all those concerned in the problem and in the development and implementation of policies and measures to deal with unemployment. The word participation runs very much through much of the Foundation's work, and we think it's important that the work we do should involve those who are responsible not only for creating the solutions, but also those that are affected by them. I'll just put the lights down so I'll show you a few slides in relation to my talk, so I hope you can all still see your papers. It was in this context that as far back as 1989, the Foundation decided to investigate the potential for undertaking a major action research program on the quality and effectiveness of information, advice, guidance and counselling services at local level. The initial feasibility study, which was undertaken between 89 and 1990, was undertaken with the active participation of agencies and practitioners in two local labour market areas, Inverclyde, which is near Glasgow in Scotland, and Sturstrom's County in southern Denmark. We also held in both these areas a small seminar rather similar to the local consultations you'll hear more about later. This study showed that counselling is a key element, a key element in the measures for assisting the unemployed back into the labour market or otherwise resolving their problems. 
Νομίζω ότι οι ευρωπαϊκές πόλεις είναι κατεξοχήν ο χώρος που ζουν και εργάζονται οι ευρωπαίοι πολίτες. Άρα είναι πολύ σημαντικό α, να υπάρχει ειδική μέρημνα για τον τρόπο που ζουν και εργάζονται, για τις ειδικές συνθήκες ζωής της πόλης. Μέχρι τώρα το ενδιαφέρον των κοινωνικών εταίρων ήταν πολύ γενικό α, για αστικά θέματα και για θέματα ποιότητας ζωής της πόλης. Τώρα νομίζουμε ότι γίνεται πολύ πιο συγκεκριμένο. Α, βλέπουμε ότι στην Ευρώπη α, εργοδότες, σύνδεσμοι εργοδοτών και σύνδεσμοι συνδικάτων α, οργανώνουν συνδιασκέψεις. Υπάρχει ένα ζωντανό διάλογο γύρω από αστικά θέματα, από θέματα αστικών επενδύσεων και θέματα ποιότητα ζωή τη πόλη, κυρίω θέματα συγκοινωνιών, παραδείγματο χάρη. Θα προσπαθήσουμε να δημιουργήσουμε ένα πολύ ζωντανό διάλογο των κοινωνικών εταίρων γύρω από τα θέματα αστικού περιβάλλοντο. Er meget varme fortalere for det her princip om at have en meget bred indfaldsvinkel til arbejdsmiljøet. Vi skal ikke kun kigge på de klassiske kemiske og fysiske påvirkninger i arbejdsmiljøet. Vi skal også kigge på det psykosociale område. Hele det arbejdsorganisatoriske område er utrolig vigtigt. Så det er et, et synspunkt, vi, vi propaganderer godt for både over for beslutningstagerne og over for virksomhederne. Det andet, vi har udviklet, det er en europæisk arbejdsmiljø-database, som er baseret på oplysninger, der ligger rundt omkring i registre i Europa, i ulykkesregister, i sygdomsregister, produktregister. Og det er en database, der vil gøre det muligt for forskerne rundt omkring i Europa at knytte kontakter til forskere i andre lande. The growth in new technology as applied to information work It gives us a lot more opportunities to reach markets and audiences that hitherto would be more difficult to reach. What we must do is um, form alliances, partnerships, uh, develop networks with other community institutions, with commercial publishers, um, with national and uh, academic institutions in all the member states to help to ensure that our messages are transmitted nationally as well as internationally. Obviously the provision of uh, information services to multilingual audiences and to multinational audiences um, is quite challenging. Apart from having to design packages which um, are in particular languages, we have to consider preferences of different cultures to receive information. The foundation, therefore, is concerned with bringing together facts, information, looking at options for the future. So it will set out those options that uh, will not always be trying to come to a singular conclusion. That will often need to be a political decision. It will often need debate. The basic regulation underlying the foundation says quite clearly that the foundation should advise the community institutions by forwarding in particular scientific information and technical data. Now in this context, one of the things I like to see dealt with more extensively, if it is possible, and much more deeply, is the phenomenon of social exclusion in its various manifestations. Ich selbst darf sagen, ich ich fand das eine beeindruckende, äh, ein beeindruckendes Treffen mit Ihnen, Herr Kommissar. Ich denke, Sie haben uns nichts erspart, Sie haben uns herausgefordert. Äh, ich glaube, dass dieses erste Treffen sicherlich nur der Anfang einer äh, Zusammenarbeit sein kann. Äh, und ich denke, wir sollten den Dialog fortsetzen, in welcher Art auch immer. I'm looking forward to seeing you at a nearly, at a nearly bureau meeting. Thank you very much. The increasing need for new strategies to improve living and working conditions is a reflection of the profound changes which are occurring throughout the industrialized world. As we know, advances in new technology, shifts in cultures and values, increased competition, demographic changes, growing pressure for protection and enhancement of the environment. All these and many other factors have an impact on living 
and working conditions. The achievements of the Foundation, Mr Chairman, are wide-ranging and impressive. I'd like to congratulate it on having the foresight to select issues for research that will be preoccupying policymakers until the end of this century and beyond.